Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. <laughs> Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. I can't put it towards how amazing this view is. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth watering foods that only this great state has to offer. So can we dig in? My wife is seriously the happiest person ever right now. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, and welcome to Yellow Texas, your insider's guide to all the places to see and things to do in the great state of Texas. I'm your host, Stacey, and boy, we got a fun one for you today. This episode is just jam-packed with adventure because we're reaching new heights at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. But first, with dove hunting season around the corner, we're taking you just outside of San Antonio for skeet shooting, archery, and a whole lot more you just gotta see for yourself. So get ready because our resident tech expert, JB, welcomes you to Hondo. Located just west of San Antonio, the small town of Hondo has some big adventures. One is the upcoming event known as Hunt Hondo. I spoke with Lily Bales and Stephanie Blanks about the occasion. So we are a huge farming town. Um, we could not do it without our farmers. They provide so much for the area. Um, and then also, I mean, we have a ton of great businesses. You have our Hondo Anvil Herald newspaper right there. You keep going down and you have wonderful businesses. Um, our police station, you have some great shops. So yeah, I mean, everything you could want in the big city you're gonna have right here in Hondo. Y'all have a big event coming up called Hunt Hondo, is that correct? Yeah. Yes. So on August 31st, we are going to be having Hunt Hondo. We're going to start out the day with a 5K called Outrun the Gun. And then at about 10 o'clock, we will open a, an outdoor expo. We're going to have both indoor and outdoor vendors going on. Also during the day, we're going to have some skeet shooting and an archery contest as well as some target practice. We'll have all of that available. It's all family friendly. You come out and have a good time. We'll have some live music. Sounds a lot like a lot to cram into one day. So. Yes. Absolutely. Specifically, uh, well, we are going to give you a break. Oh, so, there is a break. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. So four o'clock, you can go home. You can take like a you know, two, three hour nap, but then you have to come back that evening from seven to eleven because we're going to have our Parisa tasting contest. Yeah. So, per, so all these people have been preparing their Parisa, and they're going to be entering our contest to see which Parisa gets the grand trophy. Well, yes. and I see on y'all's shirts uh, Parisa and taste it, then we'll talk. So <laughs> what's the story with Parisa and should I be afraid? Not at all. Parisa is going to be kind of um, raw meat. However, it's cured with lime or lemon juice. In fact, we even have a shirt for you, um, Parisa. But did you die? Okay, yeah, that and doesn't necessarily give <laughs> confidence, but uh, so <laughs> all since right. you're gonna be trying it, I'm a you little know, concerned now, but uh, no, I'll, I'll try I, everything at no, least. No, don't be scared, so. it's gonna be great. <laughs> be excited. If you're an early settler in Texas and you didn't hunt, you probably didn't eat. Well, thankfully, you can get a little bit of that early Texas experience here at Vista Verde Ranch with a few more comforts and some of the best whitetail hunting in Texas. And to learn a bit more about Vista Verde Ranch and Hunt Hondo, I met up with the owner, Kim Knowlton. I'm super excited. Everybody's been telling me about this Hunt Hondo thing. Are you guys going to be out there? We are going to be out there um, to show what we have here in Vista Verde Ranch. And what do you guys have here at Vista Verde? Well, we have a town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hunting and uh, venue, uh, weddings, family reunions, um, anything you can think of, we can pretty much accommodate. Why would you build a, a kind of old western town for a hunting lodge? We wanted to do a hunting ranch. and. So when we did, uh, my husband, he wanted a western town this time. Doing that, we decided it would be so much better <laughs> to kind of split it up so that those who want to sleep can go to sleep early and get up early and go hunting. And those who want to keep on partying, they can go to the saloon and party all they want to. <laughs> yeah. What, what are the other experiences that people can have when they're out here? Well, we have a lazy river, so they're swimming and we have buggies. Yeah, I saw a couple of them out there. Yes. Where, where, how do you guys have so many of these buggies? Oh, my husband's a collector. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, as far as uh, food, do people get fed when they come out for these hunting trips? Yes, they do. What, they what, uh, what type of food do you, do you like to feed um, these guys? We try to do game today is backstrap. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. 
So bat, backstrap, mashed potatoes, and green beans. I am very excited. <laughs> I might have to take a nap. If somebody can give me a coffee uh, after lunch, that'd well, be great. Well, we have a gel cell. There's a cot in it. I'm happy to do that, too. I think I'll feel really comfortable exactly. in there. So is it air conditioned? It is. OK, perfect. I'm happy to do some time. So. All right, so uh, let's go on a little tour. Okay. Uh, I think behind us, uh, what, what, what's this? It's actually our boarding house, yes, and we can sleep up to 18 people. Um, usually at a wedding, we'll have the bride always gets dressed in there, and here is our church. <laughs> That's where the ceremonies take place, and everybody says happily ever after, and then we go down to the carriage house where awesome. everybody has a party. <laughs> We've had a lot of different functions from family reunions, baby cool. showers, any kind of party actually. And now, what is this over here? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is our lazy river, our fort. And so we just enjoy the, the swimming and the atmosphere. Do people end up in any of these other little areas over here? We do. Um, we have the cafe and then we have the mercantile. And the mercantile is really just shirts and stuff that we have for hunters. And like, the, like this one Like right what here? I have on, awesome. yes of all the places on this little row that I was most interested to check out, I think I would have to pick the saloon. So is it a that real saloon? That is everybody's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is a real saloon. We have everything you need as far as the saloon goes, even a little bit extra. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Well, let me introduce you to my son. This is Jed. Hey, Jed. And, um, JB. He can, he can tell you all about the hunting here. Get your drink? Uh, I'll have whatever you're having. All right. Very good. Good old Texas Rebecca Creek. Cheers. Cheers. So tell me a little bit about uh, tell me about this ranch and the hunting operations. It started immediately in about 2013 uh, when we purchased it. Uh, we, we purchased it in September, so we literally started hunting same year. What uh, what what's unique about the experience out here? Well, as you've seen, the Western Town definitely gives it its own unique feel. We like to do a, a flat rate. Uh, you come in, stay for three days, eat the best food, all the amenities, and then uh, hunt the biggest whitetail that we have on the place. I've had guys from overseas. I've had guys uh, from just about every state uh, in the United States. So wow. they come from all walks of life, all different kinds of people, which makes it very entertaining, very, very fun on my part. Of course, the best people are in Texas. I get to hunt with. When people are heading out the gates on Sunday morning or whatever, when they're leaving, what's the thing that they say that they enjoyed the most? I would love to say it's my hunting, but usually it's my mother's cooking. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, and I think we're about to get some for lunch, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. No, you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, I appreciate the hospitality. Of course, I appreciate the drink. Yeah. And uh, But I'm definitely looking forward to having some of your mom's cooking. So yeah, I think let's, let's, let's go do there. that. Yeah, <laughs> good talking. Absolutely. Let me just tell y'all, Jed was right. There is nothing better than his mama's home cooked meals. More from Hondo, Texas, coming up on YOLO, Texas. Welcome back to YOLO, Texas, where JB is gearing up for hunting season in Hondo, Texas. Right now, I'm at Vista Verde Ranch, where I'm getting ready to try my hand at archery. But first, Rachel gave me a little more insight into what's going down for Hunt Hondo. So I heard that they're gonna have archery at Hunt Hondo. And can you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure, I'm with Silver Creek. We're a meat market here in Hondo and we sponsor the archery tournament over at Hunt Hondo every year. It's a lot of fun. At the archery tournament, we have a traditional shoot as well as a 3D shoot. And there'll be prizes for the winners, but also we set up for novices as well. So if you've never shot before, we'd love to show you how. We provide some bows and arrows. I've never once shot a bow and arrow, so well, cool. I'm excited to be uh, taught. All right, so would you like to give it a try? I would love to. Well, here you go. I'm gonna let Taylor take over and give you some tips, and I'm gonna go finish some things back up at the shop. Awesome, thanks. Thank you. This is Taylor, who lives here in Hondo, happens to be an archery expert, and is my instructor for the day. This is a long bow. First thing you need to keep in mind is where you knock the arrow. So there's generally there'll be an off-colored arrow and two that kind of run side by side. So you want to have it to where the two flat feathers mm -hmm. face the bow. Second thing you want to pay attention to is your feet. You want about shoulder width apart and then stick out the bow and point at your target. Okay. Go ahead and point and then just look over your shoulder. Then you're going to take your arm, the other arm, and you're going to reach one finger above, two below. And you want to pull it back to the corner of your mouth. Pull it to the corner of my mouth and release. Does that make sense to you? I think I can figure it out. All right. And then you're gonna pull that back to the corner of your mouth. That was close. 
Ooh. Pig moved, I think. Yeah, I yeah. think he did. <laughs> Ducked that arrow real yeah. quick. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Got my hog. We can actually eat tonight. <laughs> In preparation for Hunt Hondo, I'm making my way around the town visiting some of the premier locations for hunting and lodging, which brought me to Venator Excursions. Venator Excursions is the, the business here, and we have several properties within Venator Excursions. And so we have Two Creeks Ranch, and Two Creeks is where we do our dove hunting and our upland bird hunts and quail hunts, and we offer luxurious lodging. Also under the Venator umbrella, we have um, Paloma Pachanga, where we have premier dove hunting, and we have multiple dove hunting packages. We have day hunts and pavilion hunts, which are for larger groups and include all the food and beverages you can you can eat and drink and complimentary bird cleaning. And then we have lodge hunts. If you came out for a weekend hunt, you'd have at least two opportunities to hunt, a morning skeet shoot at our skeet shooting pavilion, as well as a private chef to prepare all of your meals and complimentary beverages and um, access to our critter getters. And those critter getters are going to get you all around the ranch, and then you would have a dedicated guide on all of your hunts as well. So it looks like uh, skeet shooting is a pretty big thing you guys do here, right? Correct. Skeet shooting is a big thing around here, and we have a five-stand skeet shooting pavilion that we're going to go shoot skeet at later that's just beautiful. It overlooks Hondo Creek. Um, so that's a lot of fun, and everybody can come out and get their guns ready for a season to open. Hondo is hosting the Hunt Hondo event here soon. Right. And you guys have had some involvement in that, correct? We have. We have actually hosted the Hunt Hondo event here on our property the last several years. And as we have grown, we've moved it to different venues on our property. Um, and the Hunt Hondo event itself has grown and has found the need to move this year, but we're going to continue to support that event um, as best that we can. So. Can we take a ride in the Critter Gitter? Absolutely. Today? We're awesome. going to do that. We're going to tour the ranch in our Critter Gitter. For getting around a ranch, we've got this uh, Bigfoot monster truck looking thing called a Critter Gator. So why don't we get on board? Guests and sportsmen alike will have the opportunity to ride in one of these Critter Gators. And our next stop under the Venator Excursions umbrella, Paloma Pachanga. So where are we? So we're at the Grand Pavilion right now. So the Grand Pavilion is our big outdoor pavilion at Paloma Pachanga. We entertain some of our larger hunting groups here. We offer this space for corporate events, weddings, private parties. Um, we just love it. Seems though we have found ourselves in a bit of an oasis yes. out here in South Texas. Where are we? So we're at Hacienda, which is also a property at Paloma Pachanga. We can accommodate up to 30 guests at this property. Um, this property is offered as part of our hunting packages, but also you can rent this property privately for corporate retreats, family reunions, um, any type of private events. One thing that we love about our properties here at Paloma Pachanga is that we offer add-on packages. So we have chefs available on site that can prepare your meals for the entire weekend when you stay. Awesome. As I toured the area, I had the chance to meet Chef Eric and get a quick bite. That's fantastic. Spicy. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll have heartburn on the way home, but I'm, I'm still like diving in. We're out here at Pavilion to shoot some skeet, and it sounds like at Hunt Hondo, there's gonna be some skeet shooting as well, right? That's right, that's one of the events that we're really excited about. So from 10 to four, you can come out to the Medina County Fairgrounds, where we're having all of our Hunt Hondo events, including skeet shooting. You can purchase a wristband, and it's unlimited skeet shooting. Oh, I'm gonna bring a gun. Oh, I gotta bring your Yes, bring your gun, right. bring your ammo, um, but all of the skeet will be thrown for you, and unlimited skeet that you can shoot. Awesome. Stick around because up next, JB tries his hand at skeet shooting and tastes Parisa for the very first time. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show where our Yellow Texas crew is taking you to Hunt Hondo. Before I could leave Venator Excursions, I had to do a bit of skeet shooting. I needed a little practice before the season starts. All right, so this is a five stand. We got a couple throwers out here. Uh, we got four out there that overlook the property. We got two up top and four below us. When we come up here, we like to practice gun rules. Always keep your gun broke over if you're shooting over, under, unloaded. When you walk up, when you've got it loaded, point your barrel out there. Whenever you're ready, you just yell pull. All right. We'll get the throwers going. Pretty easy. All right, pull. All right, pull. Pull. 
Hondo, Texas. What can I say? You've treated me to some of the best that this state has to offer. From the lodging and home-cooked meal at Vista Verde Ranch, to the scenery and skeet shooting at Venator Excursions, there's absolutely no shortage of outdoor adventures in this part of the state. But before I hit the road, there's one more stop I've got to make. So this here is my store. It's um, primarily a meat market here in Hondo, but we do offer a variety of a whole bunch of other things, all kinds of good eats, especially for a hunter that's either going out to hunt or coming back and looking for things to take home to eat on their own grill. Everybody today has been asking me, have you had Parisa yet? It's true. And, uh, you know, I, I made this comment earlier today that uh, somebody called it the uh, landlocked ceviche. Is that, is that a good way to describe it? Yes, that okay. could be a good, good way what, to describe it. What is Parisa? It. So Parisa, for most people's recipe, is a raw beef ground up with lemon juice. And the acidity in your lemon juice is what will drop the pH on your meat and decrease your bacteria counts and make it safe to eat. And you grind it up with an array of jalapenos and onions, because Texas, and cheese, and then you eat it on crackers. Even if you're a little skeptical at first, it's really good. I'll try anything once. It's on record. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Really good. It's like a little bit tangy, which I guess is not a surprise given that it's got some lemon juice in there. Right. Tastes like cow. It's got some beef, <laughs> so there's some cow flavors. Mm -hmm. I like it. Silver Creek is a meat market, and we are a travel show. But we're tied together by our love for the best road trip snack ever, beef jerky. And they're known for having some of the hottest around. So we're going to start with smoky. Tastes like smoke. It's good. I like it. Now I'm going to talk to you and delay, kind of postpone or procrastinate, because spicy and specifically dragon fire on the next plate. So the longer I talk to you, the longer that I can avoid eating up. We're going to hit spicy. As a uh, uh, Tejano, I am professionally trained in the heat sciences and can typically endure this type of thing. We'll see. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself now after telling you guys that. It's kind of a mild summer. Nothing too aggressive there. So we're going to take a trip to, the, to Mercury now. I'm going to put literally the most amount of seasoning that I see down towards my tongue. We're going to start there. This is getting hot. <clears throat> It's not unbearable. I'm holding it together, and I think I made it through. Do you guys sell Pepto Bismol here, or y'all? No. Okay. This was a fantastic day, and I highly recommend you make your way down to Hondo, Texas, for the Hondo Hunt event at the tail end of August. Adios, y'all. Interested in exploring Hondo for yourself? Visit hondochamber.org for more information. Coming up, why so serious? All jokes aside, this next one will really get your adrenaline pumping. You don't want to miss it. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Okay, so this one is for all of you roller coaster lovers, which is probably about everyone in the country these days. Next, we're heading to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas to check out the unveiling of their newest ride, inspired by Hollywood's favorite villain. So come with us to San Antonio and be the first to ride the Joker, Carnival of Chaos. Hey everyone, we're here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, and you know we love strapping ourselves into the latest roller coasters here at the park, and today is no different. So before the kids start running around and while the park is closed, we're getting a first look at the new Joker ride. So I'll report back soon. Ooh. <laughs> But before we jumped on, we met with the park's communication manager, Sydney Purvis, for all the details of the Joker Carnival of Chaos. Well, actually, 40 riders sit on a giant disc facing outward, and not only do you rotate round and round on the disc, but you swing back and forth, and actually at the top, you're 17 stories in the air. You have a terrific aerial view of the park, uh, as well as our beautiful quarry walls. And as you come on through the station area, you're going at top speed of 75 miles an hour, which makes it the fastest ride in Fiesta, Texas history. Oh my goodness, 75 Five miles, miles an hour. hour. <laughs> oh my gosh. So before you actually hit the ride, you gotta go through this creepy fun house beforehand. Sounds eerie. If there's clowns that pop out of this, I'm out.
<laughs> I've lost my voice already. <laughs> I haven't even ridden the ride. All right. All right, any tips, anything I should know? Just relax and enjoy the ride. Oh my Take goodness. That's the so view, enjoy the speed, have fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So far. I give it a 10. Again. I give it a 10. Let's do it. <laughs> and nothing is complete without a proper party to kick things off. So with Harley Quinn and the Joker in attendance, <laughs> the ride officially opened to the public. It's fun. You are safe, but it is an amazing thrill. Man, every every time is a rush. Would you do this again? Three yeses, you gotta come out, you gotta come out. All right, so take it from me, this ride is no joke. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the party and the park. We'll catch you on the flip side. Wanna ride the Joker Carnival of Chaos for yourself? Visit the link below for park information. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Until next week, remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all out there.